The fourth round of the FA Youth Cup beckons for City's under-18s after they eased past Doncaster Rovers 4-0 and set up a home tie against non-league Hereford United. The Blues started with real intent, pushing the ball into the wide areas, and the ploy nearly paid off in the fourth minute, but Donny's central defender, Ben Askins, was in the right place at the right time to clear Kian Bryan's shot. Credit to the visitors, their defence held firm, making it difficult for City to break them down. But just before the half hour, a teasing Jack Byrne free kick wasn't cleared, and Thierry Ambrose was on hand to tap home and take his goal tally into double figures. And just six minutes later, City added a second with a classic counter attack. Byrne found Brian, who in turn fed Brandon Barker, and the England Youth International made no mistake to fire past Harry Burgoyne for his first goal since the start of November. The Blues began to turn the screw even more in the last five minutes of the half and should have wrapped up the tie with two glorious chances. Firstly, Ambrose somehow slid the ball over the crossbar with the net at his mercy before George Intima saw his point-blank header blocked on the line by Jacob Dawson after neat play from Horsfield and Barker. Left-back Angelino, who scored the equaliser against Liverpool last weekend, again showed his attacking prowess at the start of the second half, but his volley went just wide of the goal. Wave after wave of blue piled forward in search of the third. Angelino chipping to the back post for Intima, but the Portuguese winger was again denied by a goal line clearance, this time from Askins. City finally did find the third that finished the game as a contest on 65 minutes, and it came when Rovers were enjoying a good spell of possession. The visitors pushed high, and when the ball broke, Ambrose got the important touch to set Intima free, with the winger finally getting the better of the Doncaster goal. And City's metaphorical foot was firmly placed into the fourth round, when Brian saved the best till last 11 minutes from time. Substitute Pablo Maffeo chased down a long ball, and when his cross made its way to the midfielder, he sublimely curled the ball past Burgoyne to wrap up the tie. The 2nd of November against Southampton was the last time the under-18s kept a clean sheet, and nobody was more determined to do that on the night than Gunn, who made a superb double save to deny Paul McKay a consolation five minutes from the end. So non-league Hereford United are next up for City in the new year on a date yet to be decided. Final score from Ewan Fields, City 4, Doncaster Rovers 0. I'm really pleased because the boys have been on a magnificent run in the, in the league. The FA Youth Cup is, is different, obviously there's a bit more pressure on. But the lads with playing in the Youth Champions League, it's all, these are the games that you want to play in, you know, where there is a little bit more pressure on it. Um, and I thought we responded to the challenge, I thought they were, they were magnificent, I thought some of our football was fantastic. But what really pleased me is our resilience, to be honest. You know, we did withstand a lot of pressure at times early on in the game. Uh, we're all really buzzing with the performance and the win. Um, the Youth Cup means a lot to us as a, as a team and we wanted to really do well in the competition this year. And it took a long time for the first goal to come, it was 30 minutes. Uh, did you have any doubt that that was the goal? No, we didn't have any doubts, I mean, we just carried on playing our way of football and, um, and eventually the goal came and we were all dead happy with the goal, so it was good. And uh, Kian's goal wasn't bad tonight. Yeah, Kian's goal wasn't bad, yeah. He's wrapped one in the top bin, so I think he's happy with that. The last time he won it is in 2008. I, I showed him the picture before the, before the game. Um, I'm sick of looking at that picture, and it'd be nice to have some new faces on it. So, um, you know, if we can do that, magnificent. If not, you know, we've got to produce individuals for the first team, and I think um, you saw tonight there's some really special individuals, and like you say, we didn't even um, call on Marco, um, Jose and Olivier, so... You know, we've got strength in depth as well, which is nice.